Привет, друзья, с вами снова Андрей на канале Кирсплей. Мы просмотрим сегодня, посмотрим, точнее, сегодня одну модификацию ночь, ночь в офисе. Или однажды ночь в офисе, можно как угодно это крутить. Здесь довольно-таки интересная завязка. Монстров не будет стандартных Half-Life, и все остальные зомби никого не будет. Здесь просто террористы захватили высотное здание. И мы, как обычно, офисный клерк, здесь будем крутить, воротить и все остальное. А, в данной модификации и, и интересная одна задумка, так как ты играешь клерком а, и, а, наверное, с какими-то сверхспособностями, потому что а, тут такая суть, что, во-первых, он хорошо стреляет, это первое. Второе, здесь интересно, у меня не было прицела. Почему, не знаю. А еще очень интересная вещь или задумка, хотя это не задумка, мне больше, не, ну, мне это не нравится. То, что, во-первых, ну, то, что мало патронов даются, ладно, это одно. Там для дробовика и все остальное, хотя дробовик здесь ружье очень, ну, колоссальное. Оно вообще дымажит и божит вообще классно. Больше патронов было, вообще проблем не было. Вот, но здесь, когда перезаряжаешь автомат, ты магазин с патронами выкидываешься. А моя привычка еще с контры, это здесь, когда делаешь 2-3 выстрела, у тебя хедшот, и ты сразу же этот магазин скидываешь. И это просто пиздец. И я вот начинаю играть, это прошу, пришлось перепройти, ну, эту часть перепройти, потому что я сначала не мог понять, как это так. Я собрал только что патронов, а тут хуяк, перезарядка, и нету у тебя ничего. Я, блядь, не могу понять. Потом смотрю, у меня под ногами магазины валяются. Класс, а поднять же их не можешь, и ничего с ними сделать не можешь, а у тебя патронов нет. Ладно, приятного просмотра. Не, не делайте, как я. We seem to be missing someone from this floor. According to the clocking record, there were two people on this floor. That man we nailed on the stairs must have been one of them. But where's the other? Shall I call it in? Yeah, you do that. I'll go back to the floor. You stay here until I come back. This is Miguel on the 14th floor. There is one employee missing from this floor. Die, you bastard! Moving in! You. I'm approaching the target! I'm approaching the target! Moving in! I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you! Moving in! Hey, shh. Did you just hear that? I don't hear nothing. You're talking shit, man. I'm not. I'm telling you, I fucking heard something. Listen.
Wilson. I am doing a sweep on the ninth floor. A wait situation of target. Oh, cover. Oh, I've been shot. I'm coming for you.
He's in my <laughs> Moving in. I've got you. I'm coming for you.
target has been located and secured on the seventh floor. Please advise. Over. Roger that. Don't let him leave that room. Wait a sec. I know you. You work here, don't you? My name's Dave. You probably recognize me, right? I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little bit shaken up. I just killed that guy over there a few minutes ago. One thing's for sure, these guys are definitely well organized. I saw them on the security monitors about the same time as they came in the building. I've searched most of the building trying to find help, and you're the first employee I've come across. Listen, there's, there's something else too. It's my wife. She's somewhere in the building, I can't find her. Her name's Jessica. She, she normally works on the front desk. We can't just wait around here. We have to do something. I've seen no other employees on my way up the building, but they must be somewhere. These intruders must have taken them somewhere and have them locked off. We need to find them. Right, this is what we're going to have to do. You, go search for the lower floors. Some of the rooms are locked off. See if you can gain entry to them. Meanwhile, I'll do my own search and see what I can find out. One more thing. You're going to need to do me a favour. If you find Jessica, you mustn't leave her. You find a safe place to hide and wait for me to find you. Understood? Right then, let's go. You go down, see what you can find. Good luck, man.
How the hell did you end up in there? What the hell? <laughs> the building is now under our complete control. Oh. We are well aware of the employees that are in hiding, trying to stop us. And we have a message for one of you. A Mr. David Fulton. Oh no, please don't be her. Bring her here. Jessica, do you have any last words to say to your husband? Bad. Frank? What the hell is Frank doing involved with these guys? I have to stop him. He's got Jessica. Quick, follow me. There'll be some keys in the filing cabinet. Next Hurry, get up here! <laughs> right, stay back. I'm gonna go and pull the pin on this grenade. Take cover! Okay, go! Run! Run! Take cover! Taylor, do you read me? Over! Aha, you found one of the radios. Let's see if we can listen to one of the transmissions. Max, what the hell is going on? Something's gone wrong, Frank. There's an explosion. We've lost communication with Taylor. I heard the explosion, you moron. Everyone hold their current positions. Max, switch the power back on for the elevator. I'm going to take a look at the servers. Roger that. So he's gone up to the 15th floor. I've got an idea. We could use the window washer. Quick, follow me. Right, I should have clearance to switch these window washers back on. Hang on a second. Yep, I got it. Okay. Use it to get to the roof. Hurry. I'll wait here. Go, go.
are approaching the target. Get him. Wakey, wakey. I gather you had a nice sleep. I took the liberty of removing your weapons and our radio. I suppose you've got a few questions on your mind, like... Where are the other employees? All you need to know is that they're very secure. And unfortunately, they share the same fate as you. Death. You see, what you probably aren't aware of is that right now, as we speak, the company car park is packed with enough explosive to turn this building into rubble. And I have full intention of making you see it to the very end. I think it's the least I can do, after your antics tonight. Frank, we're moving the last dash of the money. Ah, at last. Let me know when you're done. You look surprised. What, you thought we needed the access codes? Ha, <laughs> you stupid. We knew where you were as soon as you picked up that radio. Ever heard of a locator device? This is where we say our goodbyes. You know how it is. Places to go, companies to rob. I'll see you in another life. Max, is there still no sign of the security guard? No, there's still no sign, Frank. Okay, relay me onto the company speaker. Okay, it's ready. Attention, Mr. Porter. We gave you a chance. You chose to defy us. You even sent your friend to do your own dirty work. Your attempt to fail. Max? Yes, sir. Kill this one. If the terrorists in the building do not get away, our goal is complete. We got what we came for. There are only a few seconds left before the building goes down, so get out while you can and get into the room.
I'm Trevor Jones, and welcome to KBC News. A few hours ago, the company headquarters of Parcel Passages was completely destroyed. Initial reports indicate that terrorists were involved. We're now going to go to Sally Lloyd live at the scene. Good morning, Sally. Yes, good morning, Trevor. As you can see behind me, the local fire departments have begun a frantic rescue operation, sifting through the rubble, hoping to find survivors. Over the past hour, I have spoken to two or three eyewitnesses who believe they saw someone through the windows. He was seen armed and was wearing a blue shirt. Another thing that has been brought up is the emergency lights on the roof. Apparently, these lights were switched on a while before the building collapsed, yet no authorities arrived at the scene. I know it's early, but do the authorities have an estimated death toll at this moment? As far as estimated figures go, they are unsure at this time. However, they believe there were only a few employees in the building at that time. Thank you very much, Sally. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this over the coming weeks. But for now, I'm Trevor Jones, and you were watching KBC News. Have a safe day.